when we decided to return to New York and face the Shredder. We knew it wasn't going to be easy. Hang on! It was going to take everything we had. And then some. But what we didn't know, what we couldn't have foreseen, was that fruitcake Baxter Stockman, in the flesh, turning himself into some kind of ultra cyborg. Nevertheless, we had come here prepared to fight to the finish, and that's it. most beautiful thing about my brilliant plan? I used you, Shredder, to transform me into this ultra cyborg you see before you, a truly superior work of genius. But all good things must come to an end. It's time to bid you adieu. Explosions! Guys! Guys! Do you copy? Can't talk right now, April! Uh, uh, kinda busy staying alive! Call you later! Uh. Out of my way! Now, where did Hun get to? There you are. I've been so looking forward to this. It's payback time. Oh, oh, that felt good. Now, I'm going to take you apart piece by piece. A lovely irony, wouldn't you say? <laughs> What? It's a self-healing polymer acrylic, just one of 39 patented items I developed using your resources. You made it all possible, Shredder! <laughs> and didn't suspect a thing, you pompous, overblown ignoramus. But the time has come for you to be re-educated in my brilliance! <laughs> It took everything we had to beat the Shredder last time. And Robonut just took him out in 4.5 seconds. The Shredder and Hun. Um, can we go home now? And now, the freaks. It's most fortuitous that you're here, really. You're on my list of parties responsible for recent misfortunes in my life. The charges are ruining my genius work. Interfering with my brilliant schemes and hampering my destiny as the world's foremost criminal and scientific prodigy! One minor 
annoyance disposed of. Now to finish you fools! You insufferable nitwits! Dr. Baxter Stockman is not so easily dismissed! Kiss your shells goodbye, freaks! Nothing. Just a momentary nuisance. My backup system. This is just a minor setback. I'm gonna miss that guy. Not. All right, Shredder. Let's finish this. I intend to. Eternal Jetpack Array. I spared no expense. And why should I? After all, you were footing the bill, Shredder. Uh, man, can somebody please shut down that giant flying toaster oven? Maybe we can pull his plug. Leo, his exosuit's power supply. Those radium power cells on his back. On it. You peons stand no chance against my vastly superior intellect. I, Dr. Baxter Stockman, shall... Finally! Shut him down and shut him up! What do we have to do to stop this guy? I have asked myself that question many times. That ploy might have worked against a lesser mechanoid, but as always, I'm one step ahead in my design work. In addition to the central power nodules, each component of my cyborg armor has its own internal backup power source. So, what you're saying is, this arm should still be fully functional, right? Oh no. Fire in the hole! Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Michelangelo! No! You're going to be okay, Master Splinter. We'll get you help. I'll get the others. No, Leonardo. Worry not. This is no longer about me. Master Splinter, I... You must return to the battle. Protect your brothers. Defeat the Shredder. I will be there with you. In spirit. Now go. Leave me. No, Master Splinter. I know you will lead your brothers well. My son. My son. It's going to be all right. We'll be back for you, I promise. Just hang on. Sword of 
Tengu. This cannot be happening. I cannot lose. We see them, April. Problem is, they see us, too. My lords, it's the turtles. They're alive. They have engaged the Shredder in the heart of his lair. And they've brought the Sword of Tengu with them. The Sword of Tengu? This could prove disastrous. With respect. The Sword of Tengu could be their salvation. Or our destruction. Ready your men, Guardian. See that the Turtles are victorious. As you command. Sword 
with which I laid villages to waste, brought castles to ground, vanquished armies. The sword that I used to conquer Japan and give power to the Tokugawa clan, it is mine once more. Sure, the foot can never use this building for anything ever again. Stockman's radium power cells, coupled with the power of the sword of Tengu, should fry most of the tech in this building. Let her rip, Leo! <laughs> Splinter and go home. Hey, wait a minute. I don't understand. I left him right here. He was in no shape to move. How could he be gone? Guys, we can't stay here. We have to go. Donnie, the helicopter. We defeated Shredder. But the price was too high. You don't think Master Splinter is... I don't know, Mikey. I truly don't know. 